Hi you guys, this is Sandra XO and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this video is all about the divine masculine and what he has to say. You know, he always never say nothing in physical, but very talkative and spiritual. So we're going to get into his mind and see what he has to say, okay? So this is a collective reading, it's not a pick a card. So for the collective, what does the divine masculine have to say to the divine feminine? Oh, that was quick. Um, he's going to actually be messaging you very, very, very soon. And it's something about something from the past because the way I view it, it's like these ones are going backwards. And on this side, they're going forward. So maybe the message will be about something relating to the past. But it's going to come in extremely quickly because look at Pegasus and, you know, lightning, lightning strikes like it doesn't take its time, you know. Um, what else does the Divine Master have to say? I feel like he's been out there conquering some demons or he's been watching you. I feel like he's watching you or <laughs> excuse my nastiness, but. You, this might be you with the affinity sign on the top of your head, and that might be a pet. And look at him. Don't look like the devil coming to give us some sex. Don't look like he's naked. So it can go either way. He's been conquering demons, or he's ready to get it on with you. We'll see. <laughs> what does he have to say to the divine feminine? Well, he sees you that you are sexy. He's a, he sees you as the queen of wands, the queen of fire. The woman who is sexy and beyond belief and takes care of business. So, I see. What does the divine masculine have to say to the divine feminine? Someone walked away from this connection. Someone walked away to a new, I want to say a new moon. Someone walked away to a new chapter or went on a spiritual journey, left for a little minute. But, you know, I watch some tarot readers and they say that this... The Eight of Cups is not a permanent card of leaving. It's like leaving and coming back. So they probably left off for some type of journey. But now I believe that they're wanted, they want to come back. What does he have to say to her? Yeah, I feel like he's been hiding something. Like hiding some emotion as well. Because I see the cancer, you know, not the cancer, but the crab. The crab here. And the crab, you know, reminds me of the um, zodiac sign, Cancer. And the moon is all about illusions, fear. It's about emotion. It's about hiding emotion. It could be a number of things. But I feel like, and then I feel like he might have left very quickly, like in the night. You know, you know how somebody leaves in the night and you don't really know that they're gone, but they, they leave and take their shit. Um... But I feel like he's back to face that because look at their faces. On these two cards, it's faces. And on the back, it's not faces. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he's back to face that decision that he made. That makes any type of sense. So what does he have to say? What is he going to say when he messages the divine feminine? Y'all been fighting? Like I said before, it seemed like he went off on a journey. And I got the hermit card with the face again. Like, this isn't the same face, but it's still a face. See? And then on that one, the face. So I feel like he's really ready to face the decision that he made, to be honest with you. Um, I think that he definitely wants to talk. He wants to have a conversation. And like I said before, he's not writing Pegasus on this Knight of Wands, but he's writing another horse that seems to be gliding through the air. Yeah. So he's going to be coming at you very extremely quickly with these messages. But I think you're going to kind of fight him off a little bit. You're going to put up a front like, man, what the fuck you been at type thing. And, um, it's not going to be any type of messages where it's like concrete or it's like, 
not concrete, but it's like big major, hey, you know, I miss you so much, you know, tell me about your life. It's going to be something simple as let's get together. <laughs> and what are you going to say? What is the divine feminine going to say? Oh, you came up, girl. You the queen of swords. I told you. I... <laughs> I said that you're going to be trying to fight his ass off. I know you're going to be slut cutting him up. Like, no, what are you doing? Like, no, you can't just come back and ask me, can we hang out? No. But you have the Hierophant card. And I think that the Hierophant card, like, every time I see this card, I see the apple. And I heard somewhere that the apple represents, can represent love. And cutting the apple in half can, can represent two halves of a whole. That makes sense. Like the innocence with the child and wanting that structure. Someone's been manifesting. And they're going to devil again. He's twice. So it seemed like this person has been kind of, but this is what you're going to say. It's like you feel probably trapped in this connection. Like, you can't truly be who you are, but you're trying to manifest something. But right now, I feel like you're just, you're being in peace. you just letting things happen. Because look how he is. He's just sitting there while the world is burning out. While the world is burning out in front of him, he is just sitting there at peace. Because he's tired. He must have tired. But you're manifesting something. What is the divine feminine manifesting? I got spirit. Like, you trying to figure out what you want to do. If you want to accept this love. If you want to offer love. If you want to go after it. But you definitely trying to see a new perspective on the situation. If you should be defensive. If you should let your guard down. If you should allow him. Because you got the page of swords. And you... He has the page of swords. You have the page of cups. So it's like you guys are both like he wants to come in and he wants to give you something small. You want to come in and you want to give him something small, but you don't know. Like you trying to see things from a new perspective. Like what is happening? What what should I do? like there's going to be a change regarding balance regarding being able to juggle, juggle this connection and it's going to be a beautiful change too because on this side of the card it represents what happens after death you know uh, life pretty much um well not life but things going on if that makes any type of sense i can honestly read it to you i'll read it to you what that side of the card means probably help you to get some insights if I can find it oh here it is right here okay death comes for all regardless of wealth or social station and it's the same for death of parts of our lives that no longer serve a purpose when the time comes the reaper must reap this card says that you've been given a chance to prove yourself and that the outcome will be positive the alchemist expression is hopeful and the merchant is blissful, sincere. Respond with grace to the inevitable of change. So like I said, I feel like there's going to be a change in balance. Like some type of situation is going to be more balanced. Because you got the two of cups and the page of pentacles. And both of this is like a nighttime thing. So I feel like it might, spirit is telling me that it might happen overnight to the point where your connection is going to come but it's not going to be to the point where it's like super stable it's going to be to the point where it's getting more stable if that makes any type of sense because the page of cups is like a messenger of um well wealth for me a messenger of some type of pentacle some type of earthly thing so i feel like it's going to be and then these cards too came out together and at night so i feel like it's going to be more of a situation where he is going to offer you something moving towards stability 
I feel like you want this with him too though to be honest with you because look both of them are touching like he is going in and she seems well I mean they both seem like they're receptive to it so what is going to happen with this but then you have the five of cups and the knight of wands Hmm. Seem like somebody is regretful of their actions. Maybe it's maybe it's him. But what is how does he feel about the divine feminine? How does the divine masculine feel about the feminine? You're attract you attract bro um I'm sorry, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Love yourself first. Pay attention to the red flags. So how does he feel about the divine feminine? He is attracted to you. Y'all got chemistry. That's probably why you want to hang out. You want to bang. And passion. Of course he has passion for you. And he wants to be playful. He wants to bang, of course. And then you have reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. So how he feels about you is that he is... Uh, I feel like he can't control his stuff around you. But he's watching you very closely because the page of swords can be about watching too, spying on someone. But he wants you to love yourself first. He doesn't want you to stop paying attention to you. If it makes any type of sense. But this man feels nasty in the pants for you. He feels hot in the pants. Hold on. I'm not done. I just want to get some of this chaos off my board. How do you feel about this masculine? Oh, oh it's upside down. How does my divine feminine feel about the divine masculine? Love yourself first. You in the same mode. I feel like both of y'all are working on yourselves. Love yourself first. Flirt. You want to... <laughs> girl, stop playing like you don't want to talk to this man. You want to talk. You want to rekindle this love. Like, you want to... You want it to be new. You tired of the old. You want something new. Something romantic. You are attracted to him the way he's attracted to you. So, that's... That's mutual. You might be kind of codependent. You want reconciliation. Like, you want... You want to know that it's safe for you to love him. Like, you want to have that, that, that trust, that, that undoubtable connection. You might be kind of... I feel like you, you are more addicted to this connection than he is. But you want to start over. You want something new. You want to flirt. You want to be a... Tra you want all of that. But you need to... You want to feel like you can trust him. So, the divine masculine. I don't even really know the question. I'm just going to say divine masculine. Like, the energy that's around him. What is happening? One more card, please. Okay. So, I feel like... I feel like he wants to talk, like I said before. Someone wants to talk. It's a lot of blue. Got blue, you know, blue chakra, of course, communication. You got blue right here. You got blue right here. You got blue all on the outside. So there is a lot of communication. And you have been thinking about this connection. You, I see that you have the butterfly right here. And the butterfly is all about transformation. I feel like you want to, you're thinking about how to change and or how to make this connection better. That has been constantly on your mind. Because I feel like you've been on a real long journey. And now you want to take action for that balance. I think balance might come from actually talking to him. Because she is illuminated in blue. So if you feel like you don't have a lot of balance. Maybe you need to talk to this person about what's going on. Because he wants to communicate. Archangel Gabriel. Oh, Gabrielle. However you want to say it. 
Deceit and blossoming abundance. Deceit. I feel like there's some things, like Spirit just said, there are some things that need to be said that haven't been said. And it's going to bring you abundance once this is said. It's going to be beneficial for you. But someone needs to get the courage and the confidence to be able to say it. There you go. Like I said, the courage and the confidence, the strength to be able to say what's on their mind, say what they have planned, say what they're trying to strategize in their head. Like, And I think that's you because you have been strategizing. I think you need to communicate to your divine masculine and tell him how you feel. Because this relationship needs to be grounded. I feel like if you come from the heart, because cornucopia, I even looked that up in the book, and that means that all your wishes will come true. Endure the value. Like, this relationship is a valuable thing for you guys. It is something that's of value. What else does the divine masculine have to say? So, yeah, what does he have to say? What what his ass has to say? Nope. What does the divine masculine have to say to the divine feminine? A new start is coming. Something new coming, baby. What do you need to release? I don't know. What do you need to release? Luck is on your side. A time for healing, personal issues, reaches a resolution. Nothing is yet set in stone. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. One more. Show the real, the real you. Let me get one more over for the overall energy of what he wants to say to the divine feminine. What is the overall energy? Okay, <clears throat> you have a new start is coming. What do you need to release? Luck is on your side. Balance spirituality and practicality. Time for healing. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Nothing is yet set in stone. Show the world the real you. You have Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius, and Pisces, or Taurus. You know, he could be pretty much any sign. But it is saying, I feel like the Divine Masculine really wants to say that he wants to start no, I see that spirit has definitely spirit has seen you work on yourself and trying to manifest something new and they're saying that your hard work is paying off and that luck is on your side but you need to show him what you want and who you are balance what's in your mind with what is practical come from a logical stance with him or he's trying to come from a logical stance with you and he feels like nothing yet is set in stone so he can change this anytime he feels uh there is a time for healing now he i think i feel like he wants to heal this relationship a personal issue reaches a resolution like your hard work is paying off but you need to release something but he Either he needs to release something or you need to release something before this relationship can fully come to fruition the way you would like it to. Let me see. Spirit just told me to pay attention to the moons. Let me pay attention to the moon. Is there a lot of full moons? I see two full moons, one new moon, three full moons. Yeah, because I was attracted to this. Right now, we are in the waning moon. Yeah. So you actually got four because this one, prosperity lies ahead. Like, I think he's been working on this money, too. How we going to come and try to spoil you, girl? Hmm. But if I take this off the board, the funny thing about it, I see threes. <laughs> Even though, and, but these are like the eyeballs out. But still, like, I was attracted to this. I feel like as the moon grows, that's when he's going to start talking. We are in the waning. I think we have, let me see. 
Because I can give you that information right now if you want to hang on. I can tell you when he's going to come to you. So right now we are in the waning phase. I don't know if you can see. But right now we are in the waning phase. If you want to focus. No? Maybe so. Maybe later. F it. But in a couple of days. It will be the new moon. So Spirit is telling me to pay attention to that. So on the new moon, August 30th. Do we have 31 days? Oh, we got 31 days. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so... Um, that's another thing that's on my mind. But August 30th, August 30th is the new moon. So let's talk about the new moon, which is Friday. Um, August 30th, 2019. Whenever you're watching this, just go by the timing of the new moon, okay? So prosperity lies ahead. A new start is coming and luck is on your side. I feel like right now when the new moon is coming, that's when things are starting to start shifting. I bet you. The spirit told me to pay attention, and I know we don't pay attention to the um, I know we don't pay attention to the moons on these cards. But right now we are in the waning moon, and I feel like you need to release before this can start. I really, I feel like you need to release that fear, release that hope of desperation. I don't know what that means, but I feel like you need to release deceit, hurt, pain. What's holding you back? Like, spirit is showing me a dagger in your heart. Like, you need to release that. Just let it, like, fall out of you so that things can start new. Because, like, when this new moon comes, the energy is about to shift in your romantic life. And by the time the full moon comes, he's going to see who you are. Okay? This issue with him is going to come to a close. And your life is going to be more balanced. Let's see what the new moon is going to be. I mean, the full moon is going to be. And what full moon is going to be in Pisces. Do we have Pisces? We do have. That's funny. The full moon is going to be in Pisces, which is all about balancing spirituality and practicality. By the time the full moon comes, your, your relationship is going to be balanced. I can guarantee it. If you do, if you work through releasing and healing, By the time the new moon comes, I feel like he's going to reach out. Maybe even take you on a couple of days. Maybe give you a little bit of money. Help you out a little bit. Luck is on your side. Actually, I'm sorry. It's new moon in Capricorn. It will, this prosperity was at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why. You know what? Spirit want me to keep it. I'll keep it. That's it. But, y'all, Spirit does say that your hard work is going to be paying off. Like, you're going to see... You're going to be able to reap what you sow and be able to see what you've been growing. You know, if, if that makes any type of sense. And by the full moon in Pisces, you're going to have balance of spirituality. You're going to have, your issue with him is going to come to a close. And he's going to see who you are. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to talk about anything else. Spirit, do you want me to have, do I have, okay. They want me to talk about sex for a minute because these cards are calling my name. So when he does come and sex you down because, you know, it's hard to say no. What's going to happen? <laughs> oh, he's going to make love to you, honey. Because that chemistry that y'all got, that attraction y'all got. Honey. Yes, ma'am. I feel like when he come back, he's going to be kind of shy. He'll be acting kind of shy. So he might, when he comes back, he might be taking you out to eat, trying to get to know you a little bit. You want to take you out. Like I said before, you want to take you out. Um, This is a car. This car reminds me of dinner. Like him taking her out for dinner. And y'all playing and being sexy at dinner. And then once you get there, <laughs> this tells your whole story. Once you get home, or when you get in front of him again, you're going to be kind of shy like... Don't look at me. You haven't seen me in a long time. I look different. 
But once he gets you in that bed, child, he's going to be all over you. Then he's going to hold you afterwards. But the only thing that's kind of pissing me off about this situation, I think he might leave again. But I'm going to read it. I'm going to see if I can find my case. No, my case is packed away. So I can't read it. But it's a chariot card. And with this card, it's like when you are sleeping, this man is going to... He got to go. But why does he have to go? Let's see. Clarify that card for me. What's happening with that? Oh, he'll be back. Yeah, that passion for him. Maybe he has to go to work the next day. Or maybe he has to do something that is going to take him away from you for a little while. But he'll be back. You see how passionate he is for this woman? Oh, he's going to be back. Now look at him being a creep. He's going to be back. Don't even, I won't even worry about it. Any other messages, Spirit? Let me get a couple of just messages. Communication is coming. It's this blue. I feel like this is a message from Spirit. Spirit is saying that you know what's going to happen with this situation. You have some intuition. You have some type of knowing of what's going to happen. I feel like you're going to have a victory with this man. But you need to let go of this attachment to whatever is holding you back. You know, whatever's ha whatever you have in the past, you need to let go and let God. But this card is kind of like the Three of Cups. Have fun, you know. Allow the messages and downloads to come out because right now... If you don't want this man or whatever, God is saying that the world is at your feet and for you to manifest exactly what you desire, okay? So thank you, Divine Feminine, for watching or Divine Masculine, whoever is watching this video. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys later.